Happening in Guam, we have more news and a little extra. I'm Jason Salas, and in tonight's show, I step up to the plate in this week's installment of Trading Places as a Zookeeper. No, really. And we also have Governor Calvo's weekly address in which he discusses the children of Guam. But first, a delegation led by Senator Tina Rose Munya Barnes is recently back from Russia after attending the Moscow International Travel and Tourism Exhibition. Joining me now with a report is the aforementioned Senator herself. Senator, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jason, for having me, and it's good to be home I'm, I'm in sure it's... tropical paradise, island Guam, my home. Exactly. I, I was going to say, you know, you went to Russia, you know, and everybody knows about that part of the world, you know, so close to the polar cap and everything. Before we get into the meat of the discussion, its impacts on tourism, the, the whole economy and behind it, the big question is, how cold was it over there? Oh, God. <laughs> if anybody knows what 10 degrees Celsius is, they would know that I was wearing over 50 pounds of clothing just to keep warm and it still wasn't enough. Oh, <laughs> but but it, it's a beautiful place and I'm so glad to be engaged in working with the Guam Visitors Bureau and of course GVB's partners and just the island of Guam in making sure that this new industry creating new jobs and a new market, bringing new money to go up, is up at the forefront for us. Now, of course, you were part of a contingent that combines, you know, the best of um, some public sector planners and, you know, some even, some even people that spend a great deal of time in the private sector. So you had a lot of, a lot of Guam's top minds trying to market the Guam product to Russia and everything. So um, exactly who was part of that contingent? Well, from the Guam Visitors Bureau, we had Pilar Laguanya. Uh, and Gina Kono, Pilar Laguanya is the uh, marketing manager. Uh, Gina Kono is her senior marketing agent. They've awesome job. We also had the deputy general manager, Nate Denight, who joined us for a bit. Mm -hmm. From GVB's private sector, from their membership, we had uh, Alfredo Bustamante and Chris Guerrero from Edge Realty bringing a very different perspective to the forefront. Uh, we also had from United, Quinton Koch joined us, Quinton Koch. And then uh, Jason, uh, we had folks from Korean Airlines who met us there, Mr. H.K. Lee and, and Mr. Andrew So who met us there. And uh, from Guam Voyage, which we, we couldn't have gone anywhere without the uh, Russian translators. From, so from Guam Voyage, we had Arthur, Magdinov, I hope I didn't uh, murder his name, but we also had Yulia Safer from Russian Guam Tours and uh, Katia Sablan from uh, Guam Troka Tours. So, you know, I was very pleased uh, to lead this delegation. I was very humbled and very honored because we had a lot of work to do and we hit the ground running when we got there and we never stopped. Uh, we had almost two weeks, uh, 11 days uh, full of activities and when we first got there, we started a major launch. Mm -hmm. Now, what were some of the challenges when you went over there? You know, aside from the cold and you're experiencing basically a, as far as Guam's concerned, an entirely new culture and a new way of thinking, you know, language barriers and, um, you know, currency and everything like that. How difficult was it to bring the very best of our island into that kind of environment? Uh, Translation, I think, what was one of the key things that we need to look at, uh, Jason, and of course, uh, we were very fortunate to have our uh, Russian translators there from Guam. Uh, we do have six Russian tour uh, operators here on Guam, land tours and um, uh, land operators here, so we're very excited for that. Um, and being able to have a translator back there really helped us. And of course, uh, we were able to network with uh, visitusa.com and of course the U.S. Commercial Services, uh, led by um, John McClassen, who was the senior uh, uh, counsel uh, there uh, for the Commercial Services. We also had the counsel general, uh, Darren Bard, uh, who was there for, our, uh, for the opening of MIT. And I, and of course, uh, Guam knows that we did meet the ambassador uh, uh, from the U.S. to Russia, uh, Mr. Uh, M M Michael McFall, mm -hmm. and he had a lot of good to say. So as they uh, continue to um, promote the United States, uh, of course, we are the nearest soil to uh, uh, the United States in this region. So, of course, Guam was uh, highly advocated for, and of course, our neighboring islands with Mariana's Visitors Bureau, Perry Titano, and uh, Tatiana Babauta were there uh, in the works of, of promoting 
and advocating mm -hmm. for the islands. Okay. Now, more generally, um, can you tell me about some of the workshops that were presented there and everything, and um, maybe some of the meat of the discussions that were had? And, you know, you said the uh, language, of course, is going to be like the primary barrier and everything like that. But as far as the tone of the discussions themselves and everything, like what exactly was discussed and uh, maybe generally speaking and everything, how, were they, how was it received? It was, the reception was very good for Guam and the Marianas. I know that based on the weather being cold back in Russia, uh, folks want to see new exotic places. They want to experience, of course, sunny skies. They want their children. They want to bring families to the island. They want to go to the beaches. And of course, as Guam being a uh, top brand destination for U.S. brand goods, uh, we have all of that here. Uh, they like to shop, and when they want to shop, they want to shop in big volume, so they want to go to different places, but they also like to eat. And if there's anything that we noted, even from being there, was being able to have a translator. Uh, we, had a tra we did not have a translator when we went to one of the small restaurants, but because they wanted to communicate with us real bad, one of the wait waitresses went next door to a beauty salon to get an English-speaking interpreter to come and ask us what we wanted on the <laughs> menu. And I, I do know that some of the frustrations here on our island is making sure that at least our restaurant menus and our hotels have at least something written in, in Russian and translated uh, so that they could be able to communicate with us. Okay, well, we got about 45 seconds left, so I guess we'll wrap up with this last question, Senator, because I know you have a ton to do. Um, and that's kind of the point, because what work lays ahead as far as, you know, you've kind of like laid the foundation to establish those initial communications between Russia and Guam. Uh, where do we go from here, and how much more has to be done before we can start realizing, you know, the fruits of visitors from Russia on a consistent we, basis? We, Jason, we are already realizing the fruits of the marketing efforts that Guam Visitors Bureau has done marketing this, this region. I think it's important that we continue to clean our product. We've got to make sure that our restaurants have the uh, translators needed so that they can communicate our, uh, as soon as they arrive. Our airport must have someone who speaks the Russian language so that they can uh, direct them and facilitate them on where they need to go, especially going through immigration, then going through customs, and then getting out into our hotels. So those are the basic things that we need to work on right away, but also making sure that our beaches and our parks are very clean, because as in Russia, it is clean. Mm -hmm. And Guam is a be beautiful tropical paradise, and we've also got to let our people know that we've got to take ownership on the beautiful paradise that we stay in. So keeping it clean is the first step, making sure that everyone on Guam takes ownership on, cl on keeping our island qu uh, clean. Okay, well, Senator, thank you for representing us over there in the, uh, in the very cold areas of Russia and everything. And welcome home. It's good to have you back. Thank you for having me. Right. God bless you. All right, thank you so much. Now stay tuned because we will have more show right after this.